In this example, we are going to learn how to create shapes in Excel. So we will be uh, creating pattern. Uh, you see here we have a value which is indicating the row count and a value which is indicating the column count. And let's say if the row count is 6 and column count is 5. So it is going to create shapes in that pattern. There are 6 rows and 5 columns. If I change it to let's say 6 and 7, so it is going to plot in that way. If I clear it, all the shapes are gone except my create and clear button. So we need to create this example from scratch. So what I'm doing is I'm using a separate module. My code is in shape one, uh, module one, uh, which is uh, which I have shown you how it is working, but I'm uh, writing it from scratch in module two. So first of all, I need to insert a sub procedure and you need to understand how to insert shape in an Excel cell or anywhere in Excel. So shape is nothing but an object. And when you are create an object, when you insert an object, you need to first declare it and then initialize it. So we are first of all doing declaration dim. I'm using SHP as object name. And the type is shape. So dim SHP as shape. Now the time is to initialize it. So set SHP equals since I want to insert that shape in current worksheet, so I'm using active sheet dot shapes dot add shape is the method to insert the shape. Right now, what arguments are, are required in this function? So the first argument is the type of shape which you want to insert. You see here the first argument is type of shape. Then we need to specify the left coordinate of a cell where we want to insert that shape. And we also need to specify the top coordinate of the cell. And after this, we need to specify the width and height of shape which we are going to insert. Now let's come to the first argument since all other arguments are nothing but a number or numeric value. But this particular value is something else. This is the type which is indicating which shape is going. we are going to insert. It may be a star, it may be a line it may be a circle or anything so if we check here this is official microsoft website and if we check here we can see there are lots of shapes available so you can choose any out of these so for the time being let's say i want to insert mso shape oval right and i need to specify the left and right uh, top coordinate so I am going to insert that shape, let's say somewhere around H10. So range H10 dot left and top co uh, coordinate of the same cell, let's say H10 dot top. Then I need to specify the height and width. All right. Let's see what happens when I run it. It inserted a shape. You can see the left part of that circle is touching uh, the cell and the top part is also touching the cell. But the bottom and right part is um, not controlled because that depends on the size of shape which is being indicated here using width and height. Let's say if I make it 50 and 50 the shape will go in that direction but the starting point and uh, from the left side and from the top side will remain same. So this is how we can insert shapes. Now we know how to insert a shape. Now we need to understand how we control shapes and write logic to build a pattern. So for that because I'm going to insert shape many a times uh, like in the example I was showing you I was inserting uh, shapes row wise and column wise. So instead of uh, repeating my statements over and again, I am creating a function which I will be calling over and again to insert a shape. And I am calling this function as add a shape. Now whenever I will be calling this function, I need to pass on few arguments like I need to tell that I am going to insert this particular shape or uh, a shape at this point uh, I need to refer either the cell reference or I need to also uh, uh, pass on the uh, other parameters like width and height but if I want to make them static I can hard code that in a function 
So let's say I make few things a variable like cell. So I'm using a variable target and second thing I make variable as uh, let's say size. So for size I'm using a variable SZ and instead of hard coding these values here I'm putting SZ SZ and here instead of hard coding range H10 I'm using target.top and target.left now what is the use of function function is something which we can call from any point so I create a sub procedure named as test I'm calling a function add shape add a shape which I just defined I need to specify a target let's say target is cells 10 comma 10 and size is let's say 40 so I passed on two arguments this is going to insert a shape now function is something which returns a value but whenever I am calling this function I am not returning anything so for that I need to use the keyword call so call a function which is not returning something now when I run it you see that shape was inserted I am clearing it again I am showing you that when I run this program it is inserting that shape now I need not write those all statements over and again rather I can just call this function and I can pass on different coordinates like I want to insert a shape here in 10 comma 10 and 15 comma 10 and let's say 5 comma 10 now when I run this it will be inserting all the shapes again when I clear all the shapes are gone right so this is the first step in adding a shape now we need to understand how to uh, write it in a pattern so you can see here I was just writing row wise and column wise so first of all I need to know uh, what, what is the cell which is controlling the row count so let's say I use a variable XR which is taking the value of cell uh, what is the cell which is using this value I have used a name X row and X column which I have defined here in functions uh, name manager which is actually reference uh, referring to sheet 2c7 for column and sheet 2c6 for row so instead of uh, using those values uh, as cells this comma this comma value I can directly use the name so for example uh, if I use message box x call this will give me the value of that cell which is 7 and similarly if I want to refer uh, the row value I can use x row so for row counter begins from first to number of rows which are specified by user right so this is one loop but in every row I want to insert multiple columns so for therefore I am using a nesting of loops so for columns starting from 1 to number of columns specified by users which is in this name variable and then next of this particular for loop now inside this I need to call the shape function add shape function so add a shape I need to pass on the cell reference so this is tricky now so cells here inside this I need to pass the row and column number and the size let's say I make it as 20 now row and column I want to make dynamic you see that row when r is 1 I want to insert rows somewhere around let's say here let's say in 6th row and when r is 2 I want to insert somewhere around 8th row okay so this is uh, what we need to control so let's say I make it as r plus 5 so when it is 1 r would uh, r plus 5 would be 6 but when r is 2 it would be 7 only and similarly if I make it c plus 5 
and I use call you will see that when I run this something wrong okay so this is a cell but I need the value so dot value and here also dot value now when I run again it is asking me to refer an object oh it's it's not x rows uh, rows but it's x row so now it is calling the function the value of r is 1 the value of c is 1 so it is going to insert in 1 plus 5 is 6 1 plus 5 is 6 6 comma 6 the function is called and a shape was inserted it came back and now the value of c is 2 and the value of r is 1 so again 1 plus 5 is 6 and 2 plus 5 is 7 so it is going to insert another shape in uh, the next column and the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one and the sixth one once it is uh, done it will move on to the next row the value of r becomes 2 and again the column starts from 1 so it started inserting values here now you see that this these shapes are overlapping the reason is because uh, uh, we have referred the row numbers uh, here uh, this is uh, row 6 uh, and the size is actually uh, overriding the next cell so instead of r I am using let's say 3r so let's see what happens now when I clear them and when I rerun the program now the shapes are um, at a particular distance let's make them 2 and let's see what happens now this is properly aligned and my shapes are properly visible so this is how I can insert shapes now the thing is how do you delete shapes let's insert another uh, sub procedure to clear all shapes so clearing all shapes is easy thing but we need to make sure that the shapes which we want to delete only those shapes get deleted not everything because like there are two buttons also present here in this sheet but we do not want to delete those shapes so again dim shp as shape now we are running uh, or we are using a loop for all the shapes in the current worksheet so for each shp in active sheet dot shapes so this way i can iterate through all the shapes uh, all the shapes in one sheet and next So what action I need to take? I need to take action that shape shape dot delete. But as I told you, I need to make sure uh, that I do not delete shapes for button create and clear. So therefore, I have done one thing. I have named this button as submit, and I have named clear button as clear. Okay. So this is the condition that I'll be putting here, which will not be actually deleting those shapes. Otherwise, it will be deleting all the other shapes. So, if shape dot name is equal to submit or shape dot name is equal to clear, this, this was the name that I've used. In that case, do nothing. Otherwise, delete the shape. So, this way we can clear all the shapes. So all the shapes are gone you can see the two buttons are still there if you do not want to use a blank if condition you can use a not here so if the condition any of these condition is not true then delete that shape all right so when i run first one you see it is inserting the shapes when i run the sys uh, the second one it is deleting all the shapes so that's all about uh, inserting and deleting shapes in a defined pattern uh, in the next uh, tutorial 
we'll be doing uh, more interesting things using Excel shapes. Thank you for being with me. My name is Kamal and I am from Extreme Excel Solutions.